What's going on everybody? I'm Eric with Investment. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, first and foremost, thank you. I want to say a big thank you to each one of you. The channel has reached 1,000 freaking subscribers. For real, thank you. And if you're new here, please go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, please guys, watch until the end because I'm actually going to be giving away $50 through Cash Apps because we've reached 1,000 subscribers. Oh, and also, I almost forgot, I created a new channel for car vlogs, so if you're interested, link them below in the description box. Now let's just jump right into it. So yesterday, October 23rd, 2020, Apple officially released the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro to the public, and I couldn't help but wonder, how much money would you hypothetically make if you had purchased Apple stock for the same amount of money on the same day that the new iPhones came out instead of the iPhones. Now before I start bombarding you with numbers, I want to point out that Apple stock has split twice since the first generation, that was in 2014, 741 split and recently in 2020, 441 split. Also, I'll be including my states, which is Massachusetts, sales taxes on top of the iPhone retail prices, which is 5% for the first two generations and 6.25% for the remainder. Alright, on June 29, 2007, Apple released their first iPhone ever. It retailed for $499 or $523.95 after taxes here in Massachusetts. On that day, Apple stock closed at $3.79 per share. Again, that split basis adjusted, and for that price, you could have bought about 139 shares of Apple stock. Next year came around, and on July 11, 2008, the iPhone 3G was released to the public, and it cost $100 more. Apple was already taxing people with one year in the game. Now, with a price of $599, or $628.95 here in Massachusetts, at $5.32, you could have bought about 118 Apple shares. We know that Apple hasn't gone a year without releasing a new phone, so let me speed this up real quick. In the following years, the new iPhones, on the release dates, they were approximately the equivalent of, in 2009, about 146 shares at $4.30 per share. In 2010, 76 shares at $8.33 per share. In 2011, 53 shares at $13.02 per share. In 2012, 31 shares at $21.69 per share. In 2013, 46 shares at $14.83 per share. In 2014, 30 shares at $22.93 a share. In 2015, 23 shares at $26.49 a share. In 2016, 25 shares at 27.26 cents a share. In 2017, the $1,000 plus tax iPhone 10 was released. And at $41.42 a share, you could have bought still 25 shares. In 2018, 22 shares at $53.05 a share. In 2019, 21 shares at $53.89 a share. And yesterday, in 2020, the iPhone 12 Pro is the equivalent of only 10 shares at closing price of $115.04 per share. Before I give you guys the final breakdown, I just want to let you know how to enter the $50 giveaway. All you're going to have to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification, follow me on IG right here, and lastly, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because I'm going to go through it and pick someone to actually win the $50. All right, back to the video. So after $10,596.19 spent throughout this 14 iPhone release dates on Apple stock, you would have acquired a total of 626 shares. And at yesterday's closing price of $115.04, that's equal to $72,015.14. That's a lot of money and a return of approximately about 580%. And that's just like making a once a year investment on Apple stock. That's insane. Was there a better investment? I'm pretty sure. Come on, I'm pretty sure. Now, but of course, it, this is still a pretty good return. That's 580%. Now, let's say you actually bought every single iPhone and not spent the money on the stock. Now, that $10,596.19 would now only be worth about $3,250 if you were to sell them right now on eBay because in a couple of months, the iPhone 12 will take that depreciation hit and you would have lost way more than just 70%, which is crazy. Not just that, you would have missed out on that difference of $68,765.04. So guys, my message is just 
be patient and be consistent with your investments and think about the long term. All right, guys, that was it for this video. Please go ahead and smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Just want to remind you there's going to be a giveaway going. I just hope that one of you guys enjoy this video and I hope that you're having a blessed day. I'm out, guys. Peace.